We're back at Belgio Venet's Italian Deli, where Sarah and Jamad have been lining their pockets with cash. Sarah made many successful clean getaways during her time on the take. Was it just me or did she steal about eight bucks out of that jar? Man. Our actor Jamad, he wasn't as lucky. No, bro, no. And now we decide to switch things up one last time. We wonder, how will people react when they witness Fahim, who is Muslim, commit the same crime? He steps in and starts stealing. And this man cannot sit back and watch for long. What are you doing? Excuse me? You're not supposed to take nothing out of there. You know, it's just tip money. It's their tip money, not yours. Sir, just don't say anything. Okay, it's fine. What do you mean don't say nothing? You know, Put the money back. When Fahim doesn't listen... Hey, this guy's taking money out of your tip job. He has no problem ratting him out. It's in his pockets. According to him, it's no big deal. And as our thief continues to protest... Stop saying stuff, OK? He takes it one step further. $2. Get out of the store. It was just $2. Get out. Get out. You want to make a big deal about that? Yeah, get out. You're stealing. Look, I wasn't doing anything wrong. Stealing in this country is illegal. And your message to that man was? Don't steal other people's money. Work for it. It's America. The country wasn't built on that. Throughout the day, many people catch Fahim in the act. Really? She makes an attempt to reason with him. Would you care if somebody took your tip money? Okay, all right. Just... Would you? A simple yes or no. When this deli goer is offered some of the loot, he puts in his two cents. You took it out of there, right? Yeah. You took it out that, you can't take the tip money. Excuse me. Uh-oh. Here we go. And this man? Excuse me. What's that? What are you doing, man? You take money out of there? Oh. He gives Fahim a chance to right his wrong. Put the money back. It's, it's not a big deal, it's just like the tip, you know? Put the money back. I mean, it's, it's not a big deal. About, I don't think they're this? gonna care. How about this? How about I call the police here and then they have you put the money back? When he doesn't cooperate, he heads outside to call in reinforcements. All right, let's break it, right? That's our cue to step in. Hi, guys, how are you? How you doing? I'm John Quinones. How are you? He's an actor. Oh. You got right up to his face, and we got a little worried. Yeah. I thought you were going to grab him. That was, was next. Right. Why is it right to speak up? We don't go home and stop becoming civil servants. You know, it's a 24-7, 365-day thing. If I'm going to witness somebody stealing right in front of me, I'm going to do something about it. This woman is going to do something about it as well. Are you serious? Hey, this guy is stealing all your money out of the tip jar. Excuse me. No, I see you. Look at his pocket. What happened? He took the money from the tip jar. While she's challenging our tip jar bandit, this man quietly enters the deli and watches her take control of the situation. It's just a few dollars. It's, it's not a big deal. It's a few dollars. It's not you a don't big deal. steal from people. He joins her quest for justice as Fahim tries to escape. Watch his pocket. Watch his pocket. Both pockets. This impressive duo drills him from both sides to give up. In the other pocket, too. You took more. In the other pocket, too. Took the money, right? Yeah, in the other pocket. Put the money back. It's not a big deal. Why are you arrested or not? Put the money back. Round it up. Put all the money back in the jar. In the other pocket, you took it. But I'm going to count to three. Call the cops. So you have the three seconds to put the money back in the jar. Make a decision. One. Uh, put it back. Put it back. Put it back. Two. And he's not leaving Fahim's side until all that stolen cash goes right back to where it belongs. Put it all back. Put it back can, can I just. Put it well, uh, can... No. Oh. No. Oh. No. Sir, sir, can we talk to you for a second? It's what would you do? The I TV show. Oh. Yeah, how are you? You guys are amazing. You blocked the door. I'm 6'5", 225. He's not going to get past me through the doors. <laughs> it's fine. Yeah. You guys work hard for that money. So it's what, stealing. Why, why, it's stealing. why should he keep any money? It wasn't right. 
Why is it important to speak up? You just can't take advantage of people. These guys are hardworking. That's their tips. You didn't have to say anything. I had to say something. Are you a hero? No, I'm just a person. I'm human. You did the right thing. You sounded the alarm. The right thing is the right thing. You don't have to be a hero to do the right thing. At the end of the day, no one wanted to see these deli workers' tip money disappear. But when we took a look at each of the actors' criminal success rate, we found a striking difference. Sarah was directly confronted 33% of the time, while Jamad was busted 66% of the time. And it turns out when Fahim was our thief, customers had no problem defending that tip jar. He was stopped 100% of the time. The moral of the story, leave a tip for good service, but otherwise leave that tip jar alone.